in today's video i'm going to talk about my photography if you follow me on instagram and if you don't please do that's where it's at uh you may think i'm a model but actually i'm way more than a model which sounds maybe a little bit arrogant but i take the majority of my photos that i post myself and let me just give you a it's like a short recap i've been active on social media for a while now and instagram is where the majority of my work is right now and then also patreon and like facebook canada you know and now youtube every sunday or monday so but yeah instagram was always um i used it for a lot of photos for my style like i did just like simple O O T D kind of pose like first just with an iPhone and then later on with like this little camera that I'm filming with right now which is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II sorry for my dirty mirror <laughs> then my more professional photo shoots were either with this small camera so like the quality wasn't that great or with friends who are photographers and I was always very happy when they would let me edit because I really like the whole process of like photography and then in 2018 i finally got myself a fancy camera now i still sometimes do modeling for like other photographers but i really prefer um, to do it all myself actually because i just really like the creative process of like photography and like i of course i do my own styling my own makeup and then i'm also the model but i also do the editing i pick location and i do the photography so it's like a one-man job and uh, I do these photos, I take them with a remote and a tripod and then this. So um, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me how I do these and how I edit and everything and I'm just going to show you guys that today. So the camera, camera that I use is the, the Canon EOS 750D and it has like a flip screen which makes it easy to like take self-portraits and um, the lens is uh, a 50 millimeter lens like 1.4 thingy which is just such a good lens I love it and I always shoot on manual and um, I can show you how I like I always use natural light I never use flash ever I shoot with the ISO on the lowest I shoot with um, what's it called the aperture aperture on the lowest as well so you get like the most in-depth blur and then this is the shutter speed and that's how I darken or lighten the photos and then these stay the same almost always unless it's very dark then I need to lighten this but then the higher the ISO the more grainy my photos get and the higher this gets um, the photo gets darker but also less in-depth blur and then um, I have a remote by the brand Rolai? Ro 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 I don't know I'm not sure if they still make these but I really like this because this, this one is for Canon but they also have it for Sony or um, Nikon, Nikon but I prefer this one because I saw the remote for, from Canon like just Canon brand and that was only for a few meters but with 50 millimeter lens if you want to be like all on, on there you need to stay very far away from the camera because it's not a very wide lens and it's it's the only lens I have and I also it just takes the best photos so this one actually works uh, within a range of 50 meters so I can stand super far away of course it's going to be harder with focusing everything but I can take full body shots with the remote so i really like this one um and yeah that's just a thing like I, even if they don't make these anymore make sure to find a remote that can be very far if you also use a 50 millimeter lens then the tripod is just one that my mom gave me it's, it's a pretty good tripod i have two like a big one and a small one but um yeah today i'm gonna take a self-portrait like just a portrait and uh, i had this idea it's just just for Instagram I'm not gonna model anything this time because sometimes it's for, for sponsorships and that's also like I need to have like in the back of my mind like how I'm gonna model this item or whatever but today is just for fun and um, recently I saw this tattoo which is so cool 
just on Pinterest. It looks like he cracked open. It's it's really cool. And that, that just kind of gave me this idea to have it on my face. But then like Photoshop plants coming out of there. Like there's plants growing out of my face. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So my makeup is quite simple, quite everyday like. But then of course with the edit and I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the crack with eyeliner in a second and I wanna do two different lenses to get like a crazy kind of effect but then the rest is quite simple and let me just do that right now so this is how it's turned out I don't want it to be even more because of course the plants are gonna pop out but that's gonna be in photoshop so I'm just gonna go to the forest because it's my favorite place to be but also to take the photos in and the weather forecast said uh, it was gonna be cloudy but it's still very sunny so that's that's kind of annoying because with photos like with people photography or like portraits you don't really want direct sunlight because it will cr create very weird shadows in your face very bright and it's mm, it's it's better to to shoot in like shadow i never really shoot in direct sunlight but yeah the, fo the forest right now is very green so i'm sure we can find a spot in the sh shade so um yeah, let's just go there. Okay, I think I'm gonna make a setup here and take the photos here because those are kind of low and I can use these leaves as like foreground but also the light is I think the light is very nice because here it's bright and here it's dark so I think that will work stamp in like leaves or tall grass always have an anti-tick spray because ticks are just nasty motherfuckers and you don't want to get Lyme's disease Just now these guys walked by and one of them went like, oh nice hair. And I was like, oh thanks. And then a few meters like away from me, they went mocking my hair. Like you're a grown man. You're in the forest and I basically am the forest. Don't mock me. Get fucked. Anyway, I'm satisfied with these photos. I basically take photos until I'm satisfied with a few of them and now it's time to edit. 